this pair of Beckett Simonon boots is the first pair of Blake Stitch construction boots that I've ever cut apart on the channel. So we're gonna talk about what that is and see what kind of boot Beckett Simonon makes. And thanks to Beckett Simonon for sponsoring this video. So now let's go over the boot information. So the brand is Beckett Simonon. The style is the Dowler boot. The color is dark brown. They weigh one pound, nine ounces. They retail for $239 and they're made in Colombia. And I think this is a pretty good looking boot. Obviously it's a little bit more dress centric, but the last that this boot is built on fits my foot perfectly. And if you don't know what a last is, it's the hard plastic and sometimes wood shaped foot that the boots are built around to give it its particular shape and uh, distinct look. So this is a boot that is kind of a mix between a dress boot and a casual boot. You could still wear it pretty casually with whatever outfit you want, but you can also dress it up but it's far from a work boot, obviously. For instance, look at these Iron Rangers that have a toe cap compared to the Beckett Simonons. So clearly there's a, a pretty distinct difference between the shape of the last that these are built on and the purpose of these boots. You, you can see how much wider the stitch density is and how much thicker the thread is and just the overall aesthetic of the boot is, is significantly different, even though it's a short six inch toe cap boot. So now let's go over the information that we can gather about this boot before we cut it in half, starting with the leather. So this is a full grain leather that has a lot of pull up. And if you don't know what pull up is, it's the color change that happens when you bend and fold and flex the leather. See how it lightens up? And that's caused by this, this type of leather has tons of oils and waxes worked into the leather. So anytime you bend it, those waxes shift around and move and lighten the leather, giving it a lot of depth and a lot, rather than just a flat color, kind of like what we saw in the Converse boots where it just has a layer on top. This leather has a lot more highlights and depth to it. And especially once you start wearing them and developing a patina, they look, they, they look better with age. Usually this more dress style boot has really thin leather, but this leather is surprisingly thick. It comes in at 2.2 millimeters thick which is around a light duty work boot leather, which I'm a big fan of because you get some of the extra durability from having that thick leather. Even the lining is a pretty thick leather because the lining itself is a 1.8 millimeter thick leather, which is thicker than half of the dress boots out there, just the lining alone. And then next to the construction, this is the interesting part of this boot. It's a Blake stitch construction and it's a very simple style of construction where the insole, the midsole and the outsole are all stitched together with a single stitch line. And that stitch line, rather than having on the outside like you see in a stitch down boot or a Goodyear welted boot, it's on the inside of the boot. So it's a hidden stitch holding this entire boot together. And I'll put some diagrams up so you can kind of see the difference between a Goodyear welted boot, a stitch down boot, and this Blake stitch construction. For me, the easiest way to understand it is it's a lot like a stitch down boot where the uppers flanged out and stitched down. Instead of flanging it out, the Blake stitch boots, they tuck it underneath and then stitch it down. So it's really similar to a stitch down boot in that way. And as for the pros of a Blake stitch construction, it's a thinner and more low profile construction because you don't have that big void caused by the Goodyear welt that is filled with with cork, but you still get that tucked under look that a Goodyear welt boot is known for. It is still resolable. A lot of people, for some reason, think that they're not resolable, but any cobbler that's any good will have a machine that can sew this back together. And because it's a more simple construction, it is a lot more flexible and you can feel a little bit more underneath your feet. You don't have quite as much between you and the ground, which can be a pro and a con, I guess. And one thing that I really like about this style of construction is you don't have that cork in the middle of the boot that's gonna flatten more than the sides of the boot, because with a Goodyear welt, you have that rib all the way around that's going to create a little high spot around your big toe and your pinky toe because it just doesn't compress as much as cork does. And because it's a really simple style of construction, they're more affordable because they're faster to make and easier to make. And they also don't need a welt because all that structural stitching is all on the inside. This one has a welt because it's a decorative leather welt, but you don't need this. You can make this even slimmer by cutting all that down and make a really thin, narrow boot. As for cons, because all that stitching is on the inside, you can't resole it quite as many times because with a Goodyear welted boot, once you wear out that welt, you can always sew another one on. But similar to a stitch down boot, once you've poked enough holes in that upper there's only so many times you can poke holes in that insole before it wears out but most people aren't resoling their boots six or seven times and by the time you get to the third resole your upper is pretty shot anyway so it's kind of splitting hairs when it comes to that resole ability in my opinion uh, the next con is they're slightly less water resistant because that stitching that's right here on the bottom goes all the way into where your foot sits and so if you're standing in a lot of water it can seep up through that thread into the insole and make your socks wet so that's the basics of a Blake stitch construction. It's, it's a simpler, more affordable and slimmer construction style that's significantly better than a cemented construction. And some people argue not as good as a Goodyear welt, but it also depends on what you value. And then moving to the inside of the boot. So this is a leather sock liner or insole. And underneath the heel is a little bit of foam, like a pour on type foam at the heel to give you a little bit of extra comfort. And they also include 
these little foam inserts that help give you just a little bit more squish or if these boots are a little bit too big they help fill some of that void left and then to the outsole of the boot it's a rubber outsole with just a little bit of cross hatching pattern on the bottom but it's a fairly slim and flat looking outsole and you've got a full leather heel stack with that same tread pattern top lift at the heel and then the last layer that we haven't talked about is that midsole layer and it's a sheet of leather that runs all the way through the boot and other than that, I don't know exactly what else is on the inside, so let's cut this thing in half. All right, we got it cut in half. Let's see what's inside. So right off the bat, I noticed this is a fake toe cap. And like I've mentioned before, a lot of these brands that are doing more dress centric boots don't want to do a double toe cap. They do a fake toe cap to keep that toe really slim. Just like I've talked about a hundred times, this boot prioritizes aesthetic first, but you do have that thick lining and that toe puff, that Selastic po toe puff, giving you a little bit of extra durability and structure. And so technically it's less durable than a double toe cap. You can see the Iron Rangers have a true double toe cap and you can see how much more bulk and leather is at the toe. And even with this, with the silhouette or the top down look of the boot, you can see how much of a difference that makes. And obviously there's a little bit of a last difference, but you can see that that definitely bulks up the toe quite a bit. And if this was a boot that was a work centered boot or advertises a work boot, I'd have a lot of issues with the fake toe cap, but because it's a dress boot, it's not a big deal. And now we can see on the inside, we've got some synthetic layers on the inside. Underneath that pink foam, we've got the fiberboard layer that makes up the insole that you can now see that that stitch line that starts on the outside outsole goes all the way up through to the inside and you can see the little stitches here in that fiberboard. Then underneath the fiberboard you've got that steel shank giving it the structure. Then underneath the shank you've got a really thick layer of a really hard condensed and compressed fiberboard layer to give the boot even more structural integrity and more rigidity. So it's pretty common to have synthetic materials inside the sole construction at this 200 to $250 price range. And obviously there's some other boots out there that have full leather all the way through the construction but you're paying anywhere from $50 to $150 more to get those materials upgraded. With this boot, you're giving up those leather internal components to get it to that $250 price point, but you also get a full leather heel stack, that leather midsole, that thick leather upper, and the surprisingly thick lining leather, but you're also giving up that Goodyear welt construction for the slim profile of the Blake stitch construction. So my overall takeaway from this boot is this is a more dress style boot that you can wear casually that's prioritizing the slim flat silhouette in every way possible including the construction while still maintaining the quality of the most important components and finding ways to save money on the internal components that don't matter quite as much to keep this boot at $250. So let me know what you guys think and if you've owned a pair of Beckett Simonons, what your experiences are with them. And thanks again to Beckett Simonon for sponsoring this video. And if you're interested in getting a pair of these, be sure to use the link in my description. It just helps support the brands that are supporting this channel. And thank you guys for everything you guys do. See ya.